Today I'm going to give an opinion about the new Kawasaki Ridge. Before I get started, this one picture right here, 57 miles an hour, 8500 RPM is the center of focus for my only issue with the Kawasaki Ridge. Okay, so remember the picture, 8500 RPM, 57 miles an hour. Uh, what mode it was in is irrelevant because I'm really talking about gearing and clutching and your mode only controls how quick the throttle moves. Eventually you could always go the same speed, probably the same exact RPM all the way through, just take you longer to get there. So as all the modes does is control how quick the throttle opens and, and how far in any situation. It doesn't affect what we're talking about, okay? So. I have a Defender and Commander and three Rangers at the farm. Uh, in the winter time, I get in the Defender because it's got a cab and I'm, I'm a baby, I don't like the cold weather. Summertime, it doesn't matter to me, I don't care about the air conditioning, it takes too long to cool it down and I'm not going very far, so I don't care about that. But I was interested in this Kawasaki Ridge, one for hunter work, see what we may do, want to do with the clutch, and two, that it had a cab and just looking at something different to personally buy for over there until I saw that picture. When I saw that picture, 400 works as far as clutching, most likely we are out. Um, and also from my personal use, I am out. I do not want to have a UTV running around slow speed with the engine screaming at me, I won't listen to it. And the, and the most important thing for me is I understand why it's like that. It's geared too low for the setup that's in it, and then the clutch is uh, stay, it's going to stay closed so much of the time, and it's gonna have uh, fly weight and roller issues, in my opinion. You go, why, why do you, how would you possibly know that? You've never even seen one. Again, it's opinion, what I think's gonna happen. If you are a potential buyer of the machine, I just feel like that you might want a little information uh, before you go purchase one. I'm not down on a ridge, I just, per se, it's just, you need to know this. All right, give you a little history, and I'm gonna try to run through it quick. Kawasaki KRX has primary clutch issues when used like a Razor or an X3 and ripping around in high speeds and sustained high speeds, why? Because it's geared low, because it's really a rock crawler's machine or a technical rider machine, it excels at that. You can take a brand new and put some 35s on it, no gear reduction needed, and go have a blast. The problem is, is due to the gearing, that when you speed on up past 40 in that particular vehicle, the clutches are closed. It's like a five-speed car going into fifth gear. It's done, all right? Whereas most CVTs don't close up to 50 to 65 miles an hour, and that has them moving in and out under loads. But when you've got so much gearing in it, there's a, a point to which the clutch is closed, and then any speed that you reach past that, RPM goes up. It's like that five-speed car. If you get into fifth gear, well, you're done with gearing, and any speed you get is how much power you have to propel yourself past that point, and your RPM goes up with it. All right, back to the problem. When the clutch is closed so soon, a KRX, and as was my example, and I assume that's exactly what's going on with this ridge to have 8,500 RPM at 57 mile an hour. But when this happens, that clutch is closed, all right? So you rev it up, and the way this thing works, you got a fly weight and a spider, and you start revving it up, and it pushes this away, okay? That's how your clutch works. It's just, this is pivoting on centrifugal force, and it pushes against the spider, and actually this is part that moves, and it sits there like this. So at 40 miles an hour in a KRX, or whatever it may be in that uh, ridge, then that flyweight sits right here, closed, and it's just doing just like this. You know, a little bit, because you're going nah, nah, rah, nah, rah, whatever, and you're just sitting in one spot. You run into town for 10 miles at 60 miles an hour, whatever it is, it's sitting in one spot and vibrating. All right, when that happens, you'll see, like I said, you can go KRX, and you get, uh, I call them divots, but ridges in the tips of the flyways and ruins of rollers. My prediction is this is what's gonna happen with the ridge because it appears clutch is staying closed so much of the time because it's so low geared. Now then, 
How do you fix it? I don't know that it can be fixed. I'm sure at some point somebody will have some gearing differences. Uh, put bigger tires on it, lower the RPM down. Uh, I don't know if we could ever do anything with a belt on it to lower it. Now, is this necessarily a deal breaker for a lot of people? Well, absolutely not. If you're going to be the guy who's ripping around and having a good time with it, just want a HVAC, uh, it'll probably be okay. Uh, if you're going to put larger tires on it, and a lift kit, et cetera, and you need a lower gear in any way, you'll probably be okay. But if you're going to uh, also, I suppose, if you're going to work in it and go slower and you don't mind listening to that higher RPM and you're not getting up to the speeds where the clutch stays closed, 40, 50, whatever it is, a lot, then you'll probably be okay. It is the guy who does not change tires and goes distance, you know, above 30, 40, 50 miles an hour, probably 40-ish. That's the guy that's gonna start running into the clutch problems pretty much same as a KRX does. Um, I promise you, I thought it was a, a super nice machine and I was really interested in it. But I went, hmm, I don't think so because I don't want to listen to it because my Defender runs about 6,000 RPM at the same and I believe my Rangers do too. They're all in that six range, so 2,000 uh, RPM less uh, to listen to. And, and I will say this and I'll close with this. I just got through doing a video on the Polaris Expedition's release of a clutch kit because it was so many people with the Polaris Expedition complaining of noise in the cab from high RPM because it's geared too low. Polaris' band-aid with some really heavy flyweights to drop shift phase RPM, but that's only a band-aid fix and doesn't ultimately fix the problem with the clutch staying closed uh, so much of the time on the Kawasaki. Uh, if that interests you, go watch that because you can take some of that information and apply it to this. Lastly, opinion based on one picture and we'll see in time what happens. Uh, it's funny about that and I guess I'm patting myself on the back. I told people about this expedition and then when they read the uh, service advisory where it says it's gonna affect things is exactly what I said two or three months ago before this ever come out. We know clutching, I'm um, always right, no. Am um, I right most of the time on CVTs? Probably yes. But been doing this 21 years, if I don't know it by now, then uh, I got a real problem. You got any questions, comments, you know, comments, leave them below. Uh, if it's ugly, I'm gonna delete them. <laughs> but if you got anything that's productive, certainly comment below. Make sure you subscribe and like, and check out our new uh, YouTube channel called Hunter Works Outdoors, and our new website, hunterworksoutdoors.com. Thanks.